<laughs> this is that one song that you heard so many times and every time you hear it you're like i'm not gonna bump to this song but then you start catching a vibe <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry yeah yeah With that gang gang, you know we don't play games. Whoa, hop up on that wagon. Oh, please just get out the way. Wait, you know we stay stuntin' hot right up in your face. Face, we sorry, not sorry. We just stuck up in our way ways. West Coast, go ahead, stand up. Put that glass and hands up. Gang gang gang, we fammed up. Got that change, we bagged up. Who love, we stay manned up. I'm like I'm wheezy. Yeah. Rap game just too easy. Uh. Drip so sick, I'm queasy. Whoa. Walk to the lot, good versus evil, God in his prime, always in prime, always on time, hard time to shine, He's YPS heating up. fine, I'm doing fine, glad that you asked, God fill me up, mud in my glass, God clean me up, all that I ask, wherever you headed, you headed, He's on fire. I'm ahead, you are in last, last time I checked, you were all gas, gas in a whip, whip it up fast, fast and all the furious, I'm starting to spaz, getting all curious, learn. you put me on blast, blasting that Darius kids in the back, back to the future, the future is black, black like Tatala, Wakanda attack, oh. No medication except my fucking antidepressants. That Hansel's so hot right now. The following program is rated TV M-A-N-O-C. It contains a big pair of nuts directly on your chin. It is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. Fat phobia is real and it's a social justice issue. I, a fat person, am sharing my own lived experience. Come on, really? Obesity is epidemic in the United States and a major cause of death. What is fat activism? I, a fat person, am sharing my own lived experience. Pizza is a vegetable. Your fat phobia, your problem. It is not my place as a smaller bodied white man to comment on it. Radical body positivity. What can men do against such reckless hate? There's only one man who can help me. This is for you new people. I only have one rule. Everyone fights, no one quits. This day we fight! The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swole. Testing, 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 test, 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 testing, testing, testicles, testing, testicles, testicles. Oh, welcome everyone to episode 22 hundo and Yesi Siete of the Daily Mother Swole, the most muscular swole cast, beer cast, broadcast, game cast, man cast, pimp cast, sleeves cast, and slay cast in the realm. Because when I flex, you flex, we all flex our biceps. What's going on? Beaches, booshes, busters, hustles, and your hoes. It's your boy, Papa Swole, yo, back with another episode in today's episode, the Beast Cast is brought to you as powered, is sponsored by Everston K2 Flexin. 
on all you dishes. Yeah, it's the fucking Catalina one. It's the fucking Catalina one. It's the fucking Catalina Let's go. Line. How are we doing, fam? What's going on? Alyssa, Jean, Chris, Tyler, Josh, Mark, Nick in the house, Brittany. How are we doing? Don, hello, Brian, Mr. Steel, yo, humanity. Greg Bender in the house, Cerny, TCAP, what is going on? The entire fam is here. Welcome, Bishas. Get another round of applause for all of you sexy swole sluts coming in for the mancast today. Make sure you share the stream because we're live right now. So share the live knowledge cock, veiny and thick in your face. Share it with someone who needs some of that NOC right now because we're about to get into it. We have a great show for you today. It is Wednesday. It is the first of... Oh my God. It is the first of June. We are in June officially June 1st. My goodness. My goodness. May is done. We fucking assaulted May. We literally raped May. It was brutal. It was brutal. We had our six years of swole. We had our P three S three release and we had our balls deep for summer just this past Monday. So fucking Mm -hmm. epic. My God. And, um, my voice, my voice, it feels really nice. It feels really nice, really nice and smooth, but I just literally let it rip. I just filmed some epic fucking content. Some of you might know what's going down. I told you in the balls deep for summer that we have a renaissance coming for the Swole fam. We have some amazing fucking content coming up. I'm really excited for it. So episode 2217, we are here. Share the stream. Let's fucking go. Let's summon the Falcon. We got a nice little rose tint going on here. Um, as per Tessie, it was requested. So let's summon the Falcon and get today's party started. Drop in the comments down below. Would you smash today? Let's fucking go. Falk. Oh, I hit that note. Oh, I hit that note. Thank you, Falcon. Bring it home, baby. Bring it home. Put some respect on it. a nice card that's a nice card it's the ultimate excuse really you know i would have gone to the supermarket today but my thyroid i would have worked out today but my thyroid oh no i would have trained today but it was my thyroid it was come on it was my thyroid it was i'm my totally thyroid. comfortable in my body i just don't want to be in pain it was my thyroid drop in the comments down below hashtag but my thyroid for a chance to win today's swole card and yeah let's get a little round of applause for uh i guess after airing all that dirty laundry johnny depp congratulations congratulations on I guess he won what, like $15 million or something in defamation. All right. He doesn't need the money. He doesn't need the money, but at least he saved face. So wasn't the deal with that. Um, I, I didn't really follow it closely, but kind of had to follow it just because you would see it. I see it on TikTok all the time. And when I'm posting videos and shit like that. Um, so what happened with that? He got fired or he got ditched by Disney when this all started. Was that what originally happened? I, I forget. But anyway, you could drop in the comments down below. But very nice. Uh, Amber Heard would have won, but her thyroid. It was her thyroid. She wouldn't have shit on the bed. She wouldn't have shit on the bed, but it was her thyroid. It was her thyroid. All right, let's moisturize. Let's get into that tip. Here we go. Take a sip of water. Get a big old Louie going. And oh, babe, yeah. just an inch, <laughs> just an inch. It's cold outside. Oh, my God. I know. <laughs> Amber Heard's in a shitty situation. <laughs> No doubt about it. All right, let's get into the first Swole Fan post. Remember, hashtag butt my thyroid for a chance to win today's Swole card. And check all the links down below for the live stream links. Uh, if you want to share the podcast, now is the time to do it. Uh, everywhere, it's available everywhere. TheDailySwole.com for all those links. And of course, 
Check us out, SwollenormousX.com. All these posts that we're about to go into are from inside the Swole fam. Uh, check us out. Aaron, well, it was a rough Memorial Day weekend, fam. Finished a pushed, uh, push alpha, which is um, part of our programming, before driving down to Portland, Oregon Saturday. Sorry to hear that. Got my window smashed in over about the Portland part. <laughs> Got my window smashed in overnight parked on the street. Damn, pretty sure I was targeted for my military stickers. Well, what do you expect if you're living in fucking, if you're in fucking Portland? Still went to and completed a half marathon in Salem, Oregon on Sunday. Monday, the wife still serving in the Navy. Uh, Volan told me we were doing the Murph workout, which requires uh, 20 plus pounds. So I grabbed my old vest. Not going to lie. It was awful. I was tapped out halfway through the pull-ups, push-ups, and squats, but still finished the last mile run. What did you smash this weekend, fam? Thank you for your service. And for your wife's service, let's get a little America for you all. Fuck yeah. yeah, fucking figures. Fucking figures. What you get for going to Portland? But I know it's beautiful up there. I'm sure it is. I've never been, but it doesn't it doesn't bring me any real I don't have any real passion to go visit. I don't really have any real passion to go. Yeah, so inclusive. So inclusive. We will burn down your fucking house. We will throw bricks through your windows. If we, if you don't agree with us, we're so inclusive until you don't agree with us. Right. Uh, okay. Let's get into this next one. Uh, let's see. Ash Amber did an op-ed saying he beat her and he got fired from pirates and from the fantastic beast movie. So that's what had happened. That's what happened. Cause I, I, I saw the beginning of when they were reading the verdict and I didn't really follow the trial. So I'm like, I don't really know what the, what was really up in the air. That's fucking low. That's low. That's low. Well, now he didn't have to do the movie. He could, uh, he killed that franchise too. Disney's a piece of shit for not standing behind him. Why not at least back him up until it's until it comes out? They just dip and rip. They don't even want to be a part of it. After everything that he's done, right? After all the all the fucking billions he's made them, right? Um, yeah, if there's an accusation, we'll just drop them really quick. Nice. Really nice. Okay, let's uh, get into this next one from Pillar and Two Nutrition in the Swarmus X discussion boards from Keith. I usually eat two times a day. Morning is eggs with a slice of Swiss cheese. In the evening, I have eight ounces of lamb and six, eight ounces of chicken with some broccoli. I still feel hungry and sometimes tired. Do I need to add more fat or other things to break the hunger and tiredness? I tried to get between six and eight hours of sleep every night. Uh, morning egg slice of Swiss cheese. You probably doesn't sound like you're having any carbs. So that's probably one of them. You're not getting enough fat. That's for sure. I don't know how many eggs you're eating, but lamb and chicken are very lean. I would opt for beef. I would add beef organ meats and get in some more fruit and stuff like that. Probably need a little bit more carbohydrates, uh, between six and eight hours. Six is not enough. Seven is the minimum, right? Seven to it's usually about seven to nine hours of sleep. So six is actually on the low end. So you might actually be sluggish if you're getting six. And if you're saying six to eight, are you actually getting five? Some of those nights, it really does make a big difference. So yes, I would recommend more fat. I would recommend grass-fed beef. Um, I would recommend adding that. or rec recommend adding some liver, some organ meats. I think that'll make a big difference. Also some fruit, it sounds like. Um, so it's definitely normal to feel sluggish if you're going really low on carbohydrates and you're low on fat. You, protein's not a good energy source for your body. It's fat and carbohydrates. So protein is good for rebuilding muscle tissue, but it's not ideal for energy sourcing. So it sounds like you need to get a lot more of that. So try that, Keith, and um, keep us posted, bro. Keep us posted. Uh, if you're watching live, you can jump in here too. All right, let's see. Um, Kazel Baker, 1824, from Pillar Number 2 Nutrition as well. I'm starting my elimination diet this week and wanted to ask about supplements. I currently take postnatal supplements and shilajit or shilajit. I've seen that word before, but I've never heard it pronounced. Does anyone think this would disrupt my results? I want to be as accurate as possible. Thoughts? Are you doing an elimination diet? Uh, postnatal maybe isn't the best time to do, or maybe it's the best. Maybe it is the best time. So an elimination diet. It's really just cutting out the bullshit, right? It's cutting out the inflammatory foods. Elimination diet doesn't mean I'm eating. A lot of people think, a lot of people think that an elimination diet means I'm not eating any food and I'm really hungry and I'm not getting all my nutrients. That's not at all what an elimination diet is. Elimination diet is literally eliminating things that you're trying to test, which is usually things that you don't need to consume anyway. Uh, things that are commonly inflammatory. So you're still getting all your amino acids. You're getting all your macros that you need. 
and, and, and more. You're actually getting more nutrient-dense food. So you don't have to eat as much. You're going to get more nutrient-dense food. So I've never taken any of those supplements, of course. I'm not postnatal. I know it's 2022, but, you know, <laughs> just science and shit. Boys have a penis. Yes. Girls have vagina. Uh, I don't know what the she legit is. Is it too legit to quit like MC Hammer? I don't know. Maybe. Too legit. Too legit to quit. Anyone? Dating myself a little bit. MC Hammer's the fucking tits. Parachute pants for the win. I don't know if it will disrupt your results. I don't think so. I think you could still cut out all these bullshit foods. I think now's the time. Um, I don't know if there's any contraindications for being postnatal or how soon postnatal, but making sure you're getting those healthy fats, organ meats, grass-fed beef, all those things are fan fine. You just won't know. I don't know why I said it like this. You just won't know. You won't know if something's bothering you unless you eliminate it. So eliminating is testing. You can't test what you don't eliminate. So you could always, you're not going to be on those postnatal supplements forever. You're not going to be taking, I guess, she legit or whatever it is for all that. So you can always test that later on. So I would get it started and I think you're fine. I think you're fine for now. Uh, you can get a little more detail as to what those supplements are, but shouldn't be anything that conflicts with it. I mean, if you're recommended to take those things, really, you don't need supplements if you're getting in dense nutrition, but I'm not going to go against what maybe your medical team or something was saying, because I don't know what your diet was like before if you're postnatal, but good for you and congratulations and best wishes. Follow up there. Um, Ashton, what up? A bomb. What's going on? Ashton's back in the States. Hashtag, but my thyroid. So I'm back in Iowa. I'm starting an elimination diet again because I ate chickpeas and I am apparently allergic to them and did not know it. I am so swelled up. It doesn't even look like I lost weight since I had been in China. Just in time for my modeling photo shoot. Oh, I'm going to give you a boo. Not for you, but just for the situation. Bummer. Oh, no. Oh, no. Chickpeas, huh? Chickpeas are in what? Is that hummus? Yeah. Overrated. Overrated. Big time. Uh, we got a post here from Lisa inside our private Facebook group. Struggle is real this week. I have not wanted to go to the gym. <gasps> Matt Damon. My heart palpitations. Oh, my heart. I have not wanted to go to the gym. <laughs> I have not wanted to go to the gym. Maybe I'm just tired. Last night I told myself I was going to take today off, but I decided to keep my alarm set. Then it went off. I was like, fuck that. I am going back to bed, but I had to get up and walk across the room to shut it off. And at that point, I might as well stay up. So since I am up, I might as well get dressed. Then I decide it would be good to get fresh air. Maybe I should get out. Maybe I should just drive to the gym since my family is still asleep. There we are. Then when I got there, I was like, well, I might as well just go and work out now. And so I did. Anyway, if I can get myself to do it, you can too. Hashtag go to the fucking gym. Most people don't. This is when people quit. Lisa, you crushed it. You turned it around. That's awesome. That's awesome. I mean, if it was your thyroid, it would have held you back, but you didn't have any problems with your thyroid. So you fucking crushed it. Good for you, Lisa. I love that story. And you know what? That's a great way to think about it. All you got to do is get halfway. It's like, well, I can go turn off my alarm. I'm already up. So I might as well do this. Well, I'm already doing this. So I might as well do that. Well, I'm already doing that. So I might as well. That's awesome. Good for you. Good for you. Good snowball technique. I like it. Good for you. Good for you. T <laughs> Lucero. That's a sin. Goddamn right. It is. Goddamn fucking right. It is. I didn't know they stacked shit that high. People not going to the fucking gym. People not making sick fucking gains. How could you? How absolutely How could you? How dare you? All right. Post here from Ren. Last post here. Hello, fam. I just surprised myself by squatting with 45 pound plates. Stronger than I thought. I'm so happy to be making progress. Hashtag go to the fucking gym. Let's fucking go. Fuck yeah. Let's go, beaches. Swole fam crushing it. Swole fam absolutely fucking crushing it. You're filthy. Your swole fam's filthy. Uh, let me bring up this picture. I think I forgot to bring it up. By the way, how many of you jumped on some of the brand new apparel? We also have some different colors coming. Uh, this is just the initial drops. So we have some different colors for the shirts, but make sure you're checking out papaswolio.com. And as per the uh, picture on the screen, use code daily swole. Links are down below in the description, but use code daily swole for 10% off. We got some brand new sun, the nips gear. Go and check it out. We're going to have some different colors. Um, so we have the black shirt, the black tank. We're going to have some different designs and different colors for the base uh, with the same logo. So Sun the Nips, that 
is the viral. That's the next viral trend. Sun the nips, everyone walking out, get some sun on those nips. This is where we can come together, fam. We can come together. We can be one. We can find peace in our society because we all have nips. Am I right? We all have nips. <laughs> Thank you, far too kind. We all have nips. We all have nips. That's a great thing. It's a great fucking thing. All right, let's take some questions. Drop in the comments down below. Hashtag ask Papa Swolio, and we'll take some questions. Let's take this one from Shadow Human 217 That's not creepy at all. Papa Swolio, when dieting, do you support cheat days? I don't believe in cheat days. I say fuck. I say fuck your cheat days. I'll tell you what, instead of a cheat day. How about I send you a hobo's dick cheese? How about we get you nice and set up and we send you a hobo's dick cheese instead of that cheat day? How about that? How about that? Um, when dieting, I don't diet. We all, I have a diet. So let's just set the record straight with what these words mean. I don't believe in dieting. I think that's stupid shit. I think people use that as an excuse to eat like fucking garbage the rest of the time. You know, that's why people yo-yo diet is because they eat healthy or what they think is healthy and they go back to their shitty fucking ways to begin with. So that's their own yo-yo. They create their own problem, all right? All these fat acceptance libtards, all they do is create their own fucking problems in their own little box and then complain about being in their own little box. Like you made the bed, now you're sleeping in it and then you're complaining about sleeping in it and then you start yelling at everyone else for getting results and you say fat pictures or, you know, transformation pictures are fat phobic and blah, 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 fuckity blah, right? Everything. Another example of cake gender would be if someone feels like they have different layers or flavors to their particular gender. Yeah. So anyway, I don't do cheat days. I think that's unnecessary. When you're eating proper food, you don't need cheat days. I enjoy every bite of food that I eat. I love the food that I eat and I eat it to the limit that I want. I don't eat, I don't overeat. I just eat until I'm satisfied. I'm eating grass-fed beef. I'm eating sometimes some white rice and some sweet potatoes, mostly fruit. We have some broth, Mama Swolia. We have some leftover ribeye steak, and we have some grass-fed ground beef that we ground, you know, into chunks. Put it in the in the bone broth with some white rice and salt. It's fucking delicious. Uh, I'm gonna have some bowls of fruit afterwards, frozen fruit. I just eat raw honey, dates. I train hard, get plenty of sun. I don't need cheat days. So that's me. That's my mentality. I'm not saying that you have to eat the same way I do. But I think the problem is thinking about dieting in the sense that, hey, I'm eating healthy now. It should just be your lifestyle. It should be what you eat. Your diet is what you eat. So my diet is what I consume. My diet is X, Y, Z, all the things I eat. That's my diet. I don't diet. I think the only people that can think about that in the sense like I'm dieting is when you're doing stuff for a bodybuilding show because you're eating shit that you would never fucking eat to get that lean. It's not healthy to get that lean. Eating just like chicken or plain ass fucking chicken bland shit. That's disgusting. That's why it's miserable, and that's why you have to have a real desire to step on stage. But if you want to be stage ready, I don't need to be stage ready. I want to be lean and muscular. I don't need to be 4% fucking body fat. That's just unnecessary, and it's unhealthy. So I don't support cheat days. I think that's an excuse to eat garbage and uh, perpetuates people on this fucking cycle and never actually getting optimal results. They don't focus on proper nutrition because they don't fundamentally understand what food does to the body. Cheat days are an excuse to really not take... um, Cheat days are an excuse to not uninstall the operating system and to really think differently about how you eat. It's an excuse to keep on doing what most people in society and culture and culture does. Anyway, let's see. Um, Jay Frosty Balls. Joe, Papa Swolio, with all the amazing drops on this past Monday, will I ever get my nips back? RIP the nips hashtag, but my thyroid. I'm sorry, bro. You might not. It... It's going to be a tough one. It's a tough call. It's a tough call. You might not get them back, but I have a feeling that because we have an overtime coming up on Friday by Friday, I have a, I have a, I have a feeling, I have a feeling that you'll have some areolar resurrection. I think we'll bring it back. I think we'll bring it back. I think we'll, can we do it? Can we do it? We'll, we'll, we'll get those, we'll get those nips back in order. I think we could, I think we can handle it. (laughs) Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. This is going to be great. Um, Mark, Papa, I showed my sister the man cast yesterday where I told you her version of meal prep was buying chilies or Taco Bell. That was, oh, that was you? Was that on a different app or something? Because the screen name was different, right? Wasn't it Oso? Is that your name on a different app? Oh my God. You showed her that? Oh, this is going to be great. Uh, of course she was pissed, but I said, if you won't listen to me, listen to the swole guy with a nice beard. She says she'll continue to do her own thing because it's, quote, working. Matt Damon. It's working? 
Yeah, Peter over in the Telegram chat. Yeah, is it working? Um, so I'm reshifting my focus back to myself and making these sick fucking gains. Hashtag but my thyroid. I think your sister needs this fucking card so she can show it to you and be like, I would work out and eat healthy, but my thyroid. Um, Mark, let me ask you a question. Your sister, I don't know. She ain't too, uh, she ain't the brightest bulb, is she? You know what I'm saying? I like to caress rusty spoons. Does she use backwards R's? All right, Mark, I'm frustrated for you. You must be frustrated too. It's your kin and you're like, my God, are we actually fucking related for real? It must be her thyroid. Must be her thyroid. How old is she, Mark? That's brutal. She has a college degree. Well, that's the problem. That's the, now we figure it out. Now we figure it out. She has a, she has a college degree. All right. See, in the past, a college degree actually meant you knew something. Now it means like, oh, you're a drone. Okay. A college degree. That's not, that's not putting eggs in her basket. Let me put it that way. All right. So there's the answer right there. You already said, right? You said she was morbidly obese, right? You said she was at least obese. I mean, obese, look, in my opinion, obese is morbidly obese. Like, I mean, if you're in the obese category, it's morbid. Like you're closer to death. You're trashing yourself. So this morbid obesity, you're just, if you're obese, you're, <laughs> you're highly morbid. Let's put it that way. Um, but didn't you say she was, she's on the track to being obese. All right. So she's a little bit of a chunker. All right. So no interest, no interest in actually making changes. She's going to keep on doing She's going to keep on doing what she's doing because it's fucking working. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's working. God damn it. I'm He's heating up. Jesus Christ. My name's Forrest. I'm pissed off Forrest now, Gump. Mark. I'm pissed off for you because you actually showed it to her. Good. I'm glad you showed it to her. That takes some sack. Good for you. Good for you. I hope she got offended by my face. God damn it. Show her this one, too. Go to the, Tell her to go to the... Did she go to the fucking gym? Keep on eating that Taco Bell. And then um, hopefully... Does she want to have kids? because she's going to have trouble giving birth and uh, getting pregnant if she's sucking down all that chemical trash too. So if that's a concern, um, you know, definitely make sure you're making, making better moves than that. All right, Mr. Steel, yo humanity, Papa Swolio. I finally got off overnights and have a new job that I love. Good for you, but it still feels like my sleep schedule is all fucked. I yo-yo sleep at a decent time. I go to sleep at a decent time, but feel... Like I'm not getting restful sleep. Any tips? Well, how long have you been, how long were you working overnights and how long have you been doing your new job? It takes time. You're not going to redo your, you're not going to get your sleep schedule back on track or like, you know, pun intended overnight. I know nurses that worked nights for years and it took them years to kind of get their shit back. It took a long time to reset. Um, you're probably not getting restful sleep. Your body is so probably trained otherwise I would recommend at least you have to make sure that you're doing are you doing complete blackout room cold room do you have an evening routine meditation sauna anything like that yoga what else is going on there just give yourself some time don't put pressure on yourself but just make sure you're setting those good evening habits and morning habits and uh, could be some things like maybe magnesium supplementation before bed might help you ease away there is some supplements that might help you sleep better but it's more about the habits and, you know, retraining your body, getting light first thing in the morning, not with contacts on, but getting early morning sunrise light and also getting sunset light, cutting out the blue light after sunset or when it gets dark, blue blocking glasses, no screens at night, but also looking at the horizon, getting those rays, getting those short wave uh, wavelengths, like those reds and the oranges at night when the sun's going down, that's really important. Let's your brain know that, Hey, we're time to shut down. If you have lights on in your house and you're just eye blasting yourself with blue light, that's going to, your brain's like, Hey, we're still awake. And that's why when you're chronically tired and your body thinks it's still light out because you're getting blue light and it's late at night, you crave sugar because your body's like, well, if we're not sleeping, we need an upper bro. So give us some fucking food and you eat all chips and candy and simple carbs. So your body has some energy, but obviously you don't need it. Keith Paca, Pampa Swolo. Yes, you are correct. I only get five to six hours on most days. I will try more organ meats. What are some good carbs I should use? I appreciate all your help. Uh, I would just start with something simple. Start with some fruit, like some berries, some fresh fruit if you have access to it. Um, you can eat things like, you can get frozen fruit too. That's usually picked fresh, but local fresh fruit is great. 
Uh, you could try sweet potatoes or some white rice, but just go easy on those and see how you feel. But five to six hours, I would focus on that sleep, dude. I mean, getting an hour more, like instead of five to six, getting, if you make five to six, seven to eight or six to seven, I guarantee if it's consistent, you'll see night and day differences. Get it? Get it? I'm on fucking fire with it. No, try to up that. Five to six should be seven to eight. Try to get a, at least make it six to seven rather than five to six. And and this is something that I do, and I've only done even you know in the last couple of years, but you have to make your sleep as militant as your training. Like sleep has to be just like a training session. That's your repair. That's when you're fucking actually growing. Hmm. Cerny, I'm going to cut nip holes in my son, the nip shirt. Nips need sun too. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Let's go. Let's go. Let's fuck it. That's America right there. Fuck yeah. All right. And it's LGBTQAI XYZ month. So you can actually cut holes in your fucking shirt, cut holes in the nips and you can go out in public and just say that you're questioning or queer or you're, I don't know, you're tri-binary or trinary or something like that, or quaternary or you're pentahexagonal pan pan rapism or something like that. You could do all that stuff. You could do it all. Just claim one of those things and let those fucking nips fly. Good for you, Cerny. Good for you, Cerny. Now I'm fucking amped. Now we're on the right track. Money. Money. Money, money. All right, let's see here. Ooh, Mark, uh, getting back to the sister that thinks Taco Bell's meal prep. Um, none. I told her, I told her, I told her that her boyfriend will leave her. Ooh, that's a, that's some goddamn truth there. Look, not the best way eating Taco Bell for meal prep. That ain't the best way to keep a man. I'm just telling you. All right. Let's see. Frosty balls. I've casually made my wife listen to the man cast and now she's eating like me and has started walking more and doing yoga, considering getting back into dance. It takes time. They'll come around. Good for you and your wife. Good for you guys. Excellence. Get a little America. I am the danger. The more you hate me, the more you will learn. Good for you. Uh, Terry, where are the sandbag releases? Really want to see how you use them. Uh, Finishing up some of the final edits. We talked about that on Monday, that the releases were actually going to roll out. Uh, over the course of the week, I think the Swolga is up, the um, the bunch of other yoga class were up. Some of the programming, I had a couple last minute. I had a couple last minute. I know, I know. Ah, all right. All right. Fine. I'm doing my best here. It's not good enough, Papa Swolio. It's not fucking good enough. But they're going to be rolling out. So probably even tonight or tomorrow. So it's going to be rolling out. I'll let you know. I'm going to send out a text when those things are officially up. But we talked about on Monday that uh, usually we do these major releases. There's so much to upload and have ready. Sometimes we just leak them out a little bit. It's like a soft launch. So they're coming. They're coming. And yeah, fun as shit. And of course, the the sandbag. Some of you have. How many of you have a sandbag? We released that on Monday. Swollen 7 sandbag and Swollen 7 steel club. So sandbags are different. I have one that I have one that doesn't have, it's like a cylinder, but it doesn't have a handle. So some of you might have a sandbag with handles. There's different types. So, you know, you can mimic the movements as close as you can. Very inexpensive too. If you want to buy, you could buy a set of sandbags on Amazon. You just got to go to home Depot or Lowe's and just buy the sand, which you get like 20 pounds for what? Five bucks or something like that, or whatever it is. Just like the brick sand or in like the garden section. Allen's with a Z. Papa Solio, what's your advice in your experience for procrastination outside the gym? Example at university, et cetera, doing really good at the gym. Good for you. Uh, everyone procrastinates to a point. Um, you got to find what works best for you. There's a great book I would recommend, uh, Atomic Habits. And that's a great way to create these types of little incentive programs and incentive sequences that you can use in order to get tasks done or things that you don't enjoy doing. You know, um, kind of like how a dog will get treats, right? You do a couple things and then reward yourself by going to the gym and you don't go to the gym until you like, you have a couple tasks you don't like to do. You did your work this right. Boom. And then you go to the gym or you do X, Y, and Z. And then you enjoy like your, I don't know, going for a walk or your favorite show or wh- whatever. There's like a, a little reward system in there. So that might give you some ideas, but setting a schedule, sticking to it, making lists. There's different ways to do it. I tend to make lists, but I write things on note cards, obviously, I tend to write things on note cards, what gave it away. Uh, and sometimes I'll write them on a note card and then I leave the note card somewhere and I just scattered. It just becomes, it needs to get out of my head. So it depends on what it is, but that book, Atomic Habits can help maybe create that kind of like system for you, like for a regular basis type thing. 
Do we get any feedback for the night shift? Did anyone, did anyone respond to that? Anyone else have a, mm -mm -mm. Jarella, so many women cry to me about their hypothyroidism, making them magically 80 pounds overweight, no matter what. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no shit. Uh, so anyone else work night shift that has context as per the earlier question about not being able to be back on the schedule good enough yet? Just takes time. I know it takes time. Uh, Tyler. All right. Out of my realm of expertise, but I definitely listened to, I probably couldn't listen to more content about this kind of stuff. Tyler, Papa Soy, the housing market here in Arizona is skyrocketing. Do you think, or how will the prices on houses drop down? Not only where I live, but the rest of the world. Uh, they're definitely going to come down. There's tons of, um, there's insane amounts of asset inflation. Insane. So yeah, whatever goes up does come down indeed. So like how or when, eh, you know, it, it's only anyone's guess, but I think there's gonna be a lot of shit hitting the fan later this year or first quarter next year, just from what I'm, what I'm seeing and what I'm listening to. I listen to tons and tons of financial and Bitcoin and macro podcasts. I, that's what I'm really interested in outside of this. But, um, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of, there's gonna be a lot of asset deflation and yeah, we'll, we'll leave it there. That, that's such a complicated topic. So anyone else can drop their thoughts in there too, but yeah, it's definitely not a buyer's market. And the problem is you have all these major mega companies and conglomerates buying up, um, and literally like this is what Zillow does. They, they buy several houses in an area and then jack up the prices because they bought all the same houses. So they'll buy a house for on the cheap. They'll buy a bunch of other houses in the same area for high, they'll pay over value. So regular buyers get boxed out because let's say the bid was like 400,000. So they'll buy one of the houses in the area for 400 K. Then they'll buy a couple other houses for 500 or 550, And then, Oh shit, that outbids the average person or that's not, I mean, if, four or $500,000 house is not the average person, but that's the problem, right? So more people can't afford houses, and then they have this insane markup. And then guess what? Everyone becomes renters, right? You'll own nothing and you'll be happy. And you're gonna eat fucking bugs and you're gonna, I don't know. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to sleep with trans men and trans women. I know you're gonna have to. It doesn't matter who has the penis. If it's a penis, you better fucking like it. Even if it's a fake one from someone's thigh. Isn't that great? All right. No? Matt too soon. Damon. I say it's too late. Too late. You can be fat and be healthy. I'm sorry, Lizzo, healthier than I will ever we be. We don't talk about thigh penis enough on the show. We really don't. We really don't talk about it enough. Okay. Uh, T, with people escaping California, the market is skyrocketing weekly. It's insane. Plus, most buyers are investors compared to cash buyers. Mm -mm. All right. Let's see here. Let's see. Terry, uh, Papa Soul, I worked second shift and third shift for years. It really messed me up. How long did it take for you to get back on it? I just think a lot of people underestimate how much damage it does to the body when you work nights. Like if you work nights for several months or several years, that's a big difference, but it can take you a long time to get yourself back on it. Uh, let's see. Steel Yo Humanity. I was in overnights for one year. I have blackout curtains and I keep it in cold in my house to get me asleep. I guess I'm not back on track yet. Yeah, you're not back on track yet, but just uh, keep on, keep on, keeping on. What does that mean? Once houses crash, cars will crash. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Like what? You, the used car industry? Houses are going to be the last. Those things are the last to go. It's a domino effect. I mean, the, those things, it, it always hits the housing market last. It, it's going it, to, it's, tr it's trickling through. It's coming through. You know, people think inflation is asset prices going up. No, that's not what inflation is. Inflation is more money. When they fucking keep on printing money and sending money overseas and all this bullshit, it's not your milk going up. It's that there's fucking more money in the system. That's what inflation is. More money printing. All right, Nick, have you seen the fear mongering already for fall slash winter 2022 for COVID? Are they really? Are people still talking about that? It's going to be worse in 2021. Oh man, they're going to kill more people. Oh no. Better not get healthy. 
that would be terrible. Better keep on eating garbage food. Yeah, keep on eating plants and veggie oils and stay fat. Yeah, don't exercise because blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, thigh peen. That's how they make a peen. They take skin from your thigh and they make you a pee-pee. All right. Are we still live? Are we still live? Nice. Solid. <laughs> Solid. Yeah, well, yeah, well, car price will definitely come down. But a lot of those are up. Why? Because of chip shortages and stuff like that. Conveniently so. Uh, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Jarella swing shift put my dad in early grave. Be warned. Yeah, it's one of the major things for heart disease and dementia and diabetes, all those things. Uh, let's see. Mm, 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 mm. Allen's Papa Soil. I'll be abroad for almost two months soon and I will not have any gym equipment besides a crunch machine. I'll focus on losing a bit of body fat percentage, but what else do you recommend me doing? As much body weight Muscle building exercise, a crunch machine. Fuck that shit. Do as many pull-ups and push-ups and lunges. And I'll tell you what, if you can get a sandbag, Allen's, if you can get a sandbag, you can bring it. I don't know where you're going abroad, but you can fill that shit with sand. So you can have a sandbag. You can buy a 50 pound sandbag and then fill it with fucking sand and shit when you, wherever you are, it's weighs nothing, goes in your bag. And then you have a, uh, make amazing gains with a sandbag, especially if you can do all sorts of shit with it. Yeah, people are stupid. If you want to, if you want me, to, if you want to check out more content, we talk about this inside X. We have a whole reading list inside my inside the Amazon store with tons of books about about monetary policy, about Bitcoin, about learning more about the greatest um, asset ever created by humankind. And also, if you follow me on Twitter at Swolnormous, I retweet and I I retweet a lot of shit that brilliant people say. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see. Terry, I started marathon training to get back into reasonable shape. That marathon training is not how you get back. That's like, <laughs> I'm, I started training for marathons just to get back into decent shape. It worked, but it took about six months to regain some normalcy. I got you. I got you. Oh, I get that. That you were talking about the night shifts. Gotcha. 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 Let's see. I would have two peens. That's right. Thigh pee pee. All right. What else we got here? Any last questions? Let's take one more. All right. Twisted yoga girl. What's up? Papa Soy is fish. Okay. On the elimination diet. First time trying beef and I was sluggish in the morning. I still got in some push ups and a bike ride. All right. Well, you might also find that you don't like to eat first thing in the morning. Have you ever tried intermittent fasting? That's a good way to do it too. Like having a time restricted eating window. You might not prefer to eat first thing in the morning. Did you Go exercise right after eating. Another thing when it comes to when it comes to an elimination diet or customizing your nutrition, it's also eating timing. That's very important. Understanding when you're eating, when you feel optimal, when you feel optimal to train. It's not just like, hey, I eat and I go work out because I wouldn't want to feel, I don't want to feel like, I don't want to work out right after eating a steak. I always eat pretty much on an empty stomach, maybe some honey, just usually water and maybe some fruit, if anything. Um, fish is okay. I would just make sure you're getting some wild caught fish and you know, there's a lot of microplastics and stuff all over in nature. It's just more, uh, there's a lot more pollutants and stuff in, in seafood in general, but I mean, it's kind of everywhere. Um, but I would make sure you're just getting things like, you know, wild caught and cold water fish if you can. Meaning it depends. Like if you want more vitamin D or depends on where you live and what kind of fish, but quality always matters. Yeah. And tr again, elimination diet is trying things and seeing what works best for you. But if you, you shouldn't, pr you shouldn't have an issue with it. I would think unless you have some specific allergy, but you could try it. The thing is an elimination diet is kind of like what you're always doing. You're customizing your nutrition. And then in the future you might be like, Hey, I want to try. I haven't had salmon in 10 years and you're kind of have your, you're eating your beef organ meats and you have your flow and you try some salmon and it makes you feel, you feel great. And you're like, Oh, cool. Salmon works for me. Or then you have, and you're like, oh, I didn't feel good. Maybe it was just that piece, or maybe it was something in the salmon. So you're always testing and trying. You're always testing and trying. All right, fam, it is time for some coffee. <laughs> Nailed it. Awesome, bro. That's deep. Mm. 
Um, seven, 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 Andreas full. Yeah. Living Argentina is like Hulk's meme. We are always under the inflex of infl- effects of inflation. That's why people from South America in Venezuela and Argentina, you understand, do you, um, Andres, are you into Bitcoin? Do you have a lot of people down in Argentina that are into Bitcoin? These, the, a lot of these countries and areas where there's a lot of dictatorships or socialism, um, you have extreme inflation like Germany, Turkey, Argentina, Venezuela. These economies are like Argentina. I was listening to a podcast. They're just talking about how like throughout this guy, he's an expert bond trader. And he's like, in my entire career, Argentina has never, a 30 year bond has never matured because it just completely collapses well earlier than 30 years every time they issue one. So hell yeah. Good for you, dude. Good for you. Good for you. Keep stacking those sets. All right, let's uh, get into some balls deep content. Are you ready, Beaches? Let's get some gorillas. <laughs> All right, uh, let's do this one. This one's from the Full Bloom Project, which sounds more like full, full obesity, but let's see what we got here. There's an ice cream cone at the top that's very cute from the Full Bloom. Am I fully in bloom? Share the podcast right now. We're, we're fucking live, Beaches. I am very to willing to let shit. the American public judge my physical and mental filth. My physical as well as my mental fitness. We're deep. All right. The post says it's awkward being the one adult in the group who gets the ice cream with the kids while the other parents say, no, thanks. Ride the weird feelings out. Enjoy the ice cream. Remind yourself you are modeling something important for the kids around you. Ah, yes. Diabetes starts now. Very nice. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, you're modeling, you're modeling good habits. Why are you taking your kids to go get the ice cream? Oh, maybe you should just get some frozen fruit and stuff like that. You know, teach the kids that real food is good, not processed trash. Okay. The pursuit of weight loss is always rooted in stigma and oppression. Always. Uh, no, 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 it's not. We choose truth over facts. (laughs) The pursuit of weight loss is rooted in stigma. I want to lose extra body fat. No. There's stigma and oppression. Okay. The only thing you're oppression you're oppressing if you're overweight or obese is the fucking earth's crust. So get that extra human off you. Go make some sick fucking gains. Yow. <laughs> Yow. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Stop being a lazy beast. That's a huge bitch. Stop being a fucking lazy beast. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. But my thyroid. I wouldn't have the ice cream, but my thyroid. There's tiny tuck, typical tuck, total tuck, and the tyrannical tuck. Uh, All right, here we go. Here we go. It's one thing. Look, if this, if you're, if this a fat person, like I'm going to eat the ice cream. It's like, okay, but it's not like, oh, I'm modeling something really good for the kids. Yeah, you're doing great. You're doing fantastic. You know, they changed it from type two. It used to be adult onset diabetes, but I mean. When you have eight-year-olds getting it, then it's can't be called adult onset diabetes anymore. It has to be called type two because, you know, you know you're getting it really young from force-feeding kids fucking cornflakes and sugar pops and whatever the fuck they're eating. Okay, trust me, I ate a lot of shit when I was younger too, but luckily I grew out of it fast. But I also ate a lot of good food too. A lot of kids are eating pure garbage. Pure garbage. <laughs> Terry, I know, right? Terry writes, uh, where do these alien, where does this alien logic come from? How do these people function in society? Terry brings up exactly what always goes through my mind. Like these people, they're, they're, they're making posts on Instagram. Like unless it's a complete artificial intelligence bot, they're making posts on Instagram or Twitter or TikTok. Like they're, they have a phone, they have an iPhone or an Android. Like they're making money somehow, right? I know they give out free phones, but somehow they're, they're functioning in society. They're eating food. They're walking down the street. They might even be driving cars. They live among us. <gasps> Scary shit. I know. It's frightening, fam. It's frightening. It's frightening. Fair guy. They're everywhere. He I was wondering. making me absolutely crazy. It's so funny what Terry brings up. It's, I'm always wondering. Like These people actually, you might be passing one of these fat acceptance jabronis or jabonets walking down the street. Um, We got a post here actually from the Daily Swole Telegram chat. Amy writes, night shift is nuts. And and honestly, it will probably take a month or two to switch back. 
I've been doing it for three years after a break. I can definitely tell the difference in my health in every way, as opposed to days and nights. I think the pillar of consistency would be important. Good sleep, hygiene, meditate, have a, a chi machine. What's a chi machine? Sounds weird, but it helps. What's a chi machine? Is that like a sound? White noise or something? A chi machine. All right, cool. Look it up. Excellent. Frosty balls. Papa came into this world with a dumbbell and a steak. A dumbbell in his hand and a steak in his mouth. And I land on the ground a single leg fucking squat. Boom. All the way down, baby. Let's fucking go. <laughs> All right. Josh, today a coworker brought in donuts and was wondering why people like putting dirty dicks in their mouths. Dirty bleeding AIDS dicks covered in COVID. You fucking people. It's worse than that. Dirty bleeding. Just AIDS everywhere. It's just fucking everyone has AIDS. Everyone has AIDS. AIDS, AIDS, AIDS. All right, uh, we got videos. Number one, number two, or number three. Are you crying? Are you crying? Number one. There's no crying in baseball. Number one, number two, or number three. Number one, number two, or number three. Oh, we got some Rufus pictures. Oh, he's a good boy. Oh, he's a good boy. I just saw a picture. Should we get a Rufus picture? Let me see. Can I bring that up? I'm trying to expose them. Let's get a little. Look at this big old pause. Let's get a Rufus picture. Let's get a let's get a Tainty Boy. Let's get a Tainty Boy picture first. There we go. Can I get this in there? Oh, it's a Tainty Boy. Look at the Tainty. Look at this, look at this big old fucking look at this man pause. Can I zoom out on that a little bit? Rufus picks. Look at that big old boy. He's a good boy. Look at that paw, bro. Look at that paw. We got another one. Oh, he's a tainty boy. He's such a tainty boy. If you're just listening, I'm showing pictures of tainty boy. Let's see. Let's get another one. Let's just look at them all. He's a good boy. Mama Soy just sent me some pictures. Look at those paws. That looks insane. Look at that shit. And by the way, we've had him for almost two and a half months. So he's five months. He's five months and all right. He's five months and uh, five months and like one and a half weeks. What do we got here? I don't know if we showed this one already. Show that one. There we go. Little alligator. He's a big boy. So he's, yeah, he's a healthy boy and he's, his paws still look huge. And uh, he's almost 70 pounds and he's five months. He's going to be six months on the 18th. So he's still like two and a half weeks away. So he's 70 pounds. So we, he's a big boy. He's such a big boy. He's, he's a good boy. Good boy. Round of applause. Boy. Rufy boy. Tainty boy. All right. Appreciate some, that was a tainty update. That was a tainty update. Oh, he's such a good boy. He's such a, he's a good dog. He's really, he's smart too. He's big as fuck. Uh, extra tainty. All right, we did, we did choose some numbers. I think I saw that afterwards. Uh, let's do, let's see what we got here. Um, let's get, all right, let's see. We got Elizabeth, Elizabeth Fahey. We got number three here. All right, Elizabeth Fahey, number, number three. Number three, number three. All right, this one's called Former Blue Hair on Medical Fat Phobia. Oh, it's her. Oh, it's her. She's still, she's got to hold up the fucking microphone. It's this chick. Oh, what a great star. But her thyroid. Let's see what she's got to say. Nothing good, I'm sure. Story time. I have had severe chronic back pain my whole life ever since. Pause. Hold on. Ever since what? I was like five years old. And I. You've had severe chronic, hold on a second. Story time. I have had severe chronic back pain my whole life, ever since I was like five years old. Is that possible? Like what, what five-year-old has severe chronic back pain? I mean, if you, I guess you have it's like scoliosis. I mean, you have a severe, 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 like genetic disorder. Like you have severe issues. If you have, is that pot, like, 
I know kids have Luke. I know kids, some children deal with horrific things. Like I'm not doubting that, but does anyone smell like bullshit? Anyone? Yeah. I have done literally everything imaginable to try to make it better with little to no success. Except actually eating healthier and losing my extra body fat. But hey, I get to make the TikToks. My pain got progressively worse over time. And about four years ago, when it became particularly severe, I decided it was finally time to consider surgery. So I made an appointment with an orthopedic surgeon. That's the worst back surgery. Yo, do whatever in your power to avoid fucking back surgery. There are so many horror stories from back surgery. It gets, usually makes issues so much fucking worse. Oh my God. Like, I really want to know what everything was. Again, what is her fucking nutrition like? What's her day to day? Can you imagine? Come on now. I, I, I'm not even going to get really upset about this because she's just nauseating to listen to. God, we have so much The horror. appointment, they weighed me, they x-rayed my back, and then they had me wait for the doctor. Yeah. The doctor came in and very quickly let me know that I needed to have a spinal fusion surgery and I needed to have one as quickly as possible. Uh -huh. He showed me the x-rays and explained that I not only had a spinal deformity, which I already knew, that um, but that the friction between two of my vertebrae had caused a fracture. So and why, I mean, there's definitely a lot of friction when you're carrying around extra weight. Let's, let's look at this from... Let's call a spade a spade for real. Oh, I had a broken back and I was like, got it. When can we schedule surgery? Um, but he responded and said, well, the problem is your weight. Unfortunately, unfortunately, medicine is a thing and anesthesia is a thing and uh, high risk surgeries are a thing. So, hey, don't listen to me. I only do this for a living. So, hey, yeah, no, don't listen to me. I only cut into human beings and fucking fix their goddamn spines for a living. What do I know? What do I know? I've just been in school and cutting into cadavers and human bodies for like 15, 20 fucking years. It's just like the thing that I do. One of the most high risk professions you could possibly do is cutting into someone's fucking spine. We're going to need you to lose some weight before we would be willing to do surgery on you. But luckily we have an in-house weight loss program that we're going to refer you to. There you go. Isn't that awesome? Wait, here we go. She's not happy. Oh, the shit face. Is it your thyroid? I feel like Billy Madison is like, Jabba Dabba Doo, is your thyroid? Who would have thought it was my thyroid? Hey, everybody, it's your thyroid. Hey, Jabba Dabba Doo, do, do, do. Chlorophyll? Chlorophyll. More like borophyll. All right, let's continue. And there are many things I could have said in response to this, but I decided to try to appeal to this doctor as someone who, in theory, should want to do no harm. Can someone slap her for me? I don't have the energy. So I told him, I have a history of disordered eating and weight loss behaviors are very unsafe for me. I'm going to guess he's like, okay, and what I said stands. <laughs> uh, would you like to stand too? I can help you if you do what I say. Okay. And by the look on his face, he clearly did not believe that I ever had an eating disorder. No, I'm going to keep on pausing you because I have to, and I can. It's just, some, it's an amazing, it's just, a, it feels amazing to like hit a button and she stops talking. It's great. It's fucking amazing. So I'm actually going to take, I'm, I'm going to wield this power to my max capacity. If I can get her to stop talking, I'm going to do so. I'm going to do so frequently, just like I just did. I bet he gave you a weird look like, um, fuck if I care. Like, he probably gave you a weird look like, I have this ordered eating and I have all these other patterns. He's probably like, okay, we're still going to need you to be a lot less fat so we have a less high-risk surgery. So, like, irrelevant. Okay. And so he said again that I would need to lose weight. And he said the reason was because <laughs> anesthesia was too dangerous I for people. Fucking said so. Let's fucking go. Come on. High five for IQ. Let's go. Let's fucking go. I told we you. We choose truth over facts. I'm not even a spinal surgeon. Man, how did I know that? Well, in my BMI category. And I said, so how do people even bigger than me get weight loss surgery every single day? They are under anesthesia for that. And we went back and forth for a long time. And he ended up getting very frustrated and just said, look, I don't know what to tell you. This is the hospital's policy. So I had to battle this hospital with this horrible BMI cutoff policy for a whole year. Okay, hold on. Okay, can anyone else 
Like, can you comprehend that spinal surgery is obviously a lot different than weight loss surgery? Anyone? Like laparoscopic surgery or like a liposuction? Like, it's a lot different than spinal surgery. A lot different. All while having a broken back that entire time before I could finally get the surgery they had established was medically necessary. And by the point that I was finally able to get this surgery, they had made me wait so long that over the course of that year, I had developed permanent nerve damage, which is extremely painful to this day and has radically changed how I have to live my life. I'm totally comfortable in my happened. body. I just don't want to be in pain if they had just given me the surgery on the same timeline as a thin patient. Uh, but you're not a thin patient. So it's like, you know, I just wish they did the same thing. You do realize that the same reason why all the idiots were saying like, everyone gets the vaccine. Not everyone has the same situation. Not everyone wants to take a medical risk for something that's not going to negatively affect them. Like, why would you want to take a non-zero risk for something that is not going to affect you? Like COVID, if you're a healthy person, you're like, all right, you'll be fine. Why do I want to take a un why do I want to take an unnecessary risk with an experimental vaccine? Very glad, I fucking will never do that shit, and very glad for it because now we see all the fucking side of all the conspiracy there is, all that shit's out there. Like, yeah, all the fucking heart inflammation, all the long-term consequences, they're coming out. They're coming out. You hear them every day. So anyway, um, every patient's different and weight loss surgery is different than spinal surgery. Get over yourself. It's not all about you. You also didn't have to wait 30 or whatever fucking years to actually address these issues. What's your nutrition like, darling? What's your nutrition like? Anyone want to know? Anyone, anyone curious as to what her lifestyle is like? You had all this pain, all this chronic issue, probably all this auto in all this inflammation. Like, what are you eating? I'm curious. What have you been eating? Like, what's your nutrition like your entire life? Hmm. What's the nutrition like? Exactly. Of course she can't answer right now, but I guess it's absolute fuck all. Imagine Mark. Is that your, is that your sister? Is that your sister? That's resisting me. Is that your sister? That's resisting me. Come on. And my existence, while grotesque it's and Mark's incomprehensible sister. to you, saves lives. <laughs> the, look at that in screen name. The anti-racist racist. Oh, man, you're a Democrat. All right, I see you there. Oh, too soon? Never. Hey, stop! All right, come on. Come on. Come on. It's not, it's not left versus right. It's retarded versus logical and common sense. We know that. We all know that. Fucking America, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's fucking offend someone. All right. Okay. Um, let's get another one. We got video number one or number two. What we got? Number one or number two? Drum roll. So per is a neo pronoun that comes from the word person, which is why I really like him. We got a number one. We got a number two. We got two more videos. Let's make them absolutely fucking pop. Let's go, baby. Uh, Jardell. Jardell number two. Jardell number two. Let's get a little round of applause. All right, let's get a little. Oh my God. Are we going to end with that one? Yo, fuck. This la the last one? Jardell, you did everyone a favor. The last one, because I'm going to blow my. If your nips are not blown off, the next one's going to make me angry. I can see it. It's going to make me fucking lit. Oh my God. I really hope it's not. Okay, number two, this is called Find What Works For You. We saw this, we've seen this woman before. I don't know. I, I don't think she speaks good English and it just might be a little hard to understand. I think that's her, but I'm not sure. Let's check it out. For two years, I was skinnier and I genuinely thought, oh, I just needed to find what worked for me. Keto. Okay, holy ear holes. Thank you. I really enjoy my eardrums, if you don't mind. Worked for me, so other people should just make enough of an effort like I did to find what works for them. If they are fat and society treats them bad, it's then it's because they don't want to make the effort. And I think the kind of presumption from my side, the kind of arrogance, is what made me deserve to have enough health issues to not recognize my body, to 
mm. know that I was doing everything right. I'm fasting. How am I putting on weight? Ha, ah, bitch, now you realize that it's not as simple as, oh, you just need to find what works for you. Something that worked for you might not work anymore. Your body changes. You damage your body enough that you don't know why. So you don't go around judging people in a pain that, and in a situation that you don't know nothing about. Who wants to translate that? Anyone? I heard like, I mean, I was fixing the sound at the beginning and then the rest of it, I kind of, I kind of lost. Come on, man. It's like a female Joe Biden. I don't know what you said. Sure, Dom. All right. I don't know. I don't know. Madam, we'll see you soon again, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't know if you guys knew what she said. It just sounded like a we. I don't know. It just sounded like a beach. It was a beach comment. It sounds like, you know, don't do it. You don't know. Whatever. Okay. Does not compute. Error. 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 I got hairy legs. And yeah, maybe it's her thyroid. Okay. We got one more video. Fam, are you, who's ready to get angry? Who's ready to get angry? Yeah, if you're not angry already, you're just going to get very, very frustrated. If you have children, hide them. Hide them. <laughs> Jeremy, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know people could speak and run on sentences. Yeah, preach, dude. <laughs> it was like I was waiting for some kind of like topic change. I'm like, oh, it's just nonstop. It's like, that's a lot of words. All right. This one, the title of this video is frightening. I don't know. I guess we're going to get into it. Um, it's about a minute, 47 seconds. So you ready, fam? <sighs> that was not bad. I gave it a, uh, a 10. A tan! A fucking tan! All right, fuck yeah. Let's go. Let's get along. Right. This yeah. video is called, you ready? This video is called Four-Year-Old, Four-Year-Old Trans. Four-Year-Old Trans. What the fuck is that? Okay. Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. Thank you. 9, 10, 9.5, 9.8, 9.7, 8.5. Well played, a 7, an 8, a solid 9. 9.9, .9, a 10, 8.5 from Australia. Yeah, you know what? Make sure you drop your your location. When you give a when you give a rating, you know, a 10 from France, from Australia. I like that. We can hold up cards. Very nice. I appreciate that. Um, Bridget, that was only a 7.5. It lacked depth. Well, Fuck you, but I appreciate your honesty. I appreciate it. Look, I, the fam, I appreciate all of you that you demand, you have high expectations. I appreciate that. I think the problem is I've let such amazing ones rip that it's really hard to match. You know, I kind of gave you my best from the start and now it's just like every day. The, the pressure's on me. It really does get to me. And um, I, I I appreciate the fact that you, uh, you allow me to do my best and um, that you don't marginalize marginalize my expulsions. I appreciate that. Are you crying? Oh. Are you crying? <laughs> There's no crying in baseball. No tears. No tears. All right. Um, here we go. <laughs> Matthew, I'll never forget the showstopper like a hundred episodes ago. There was one where like I didn't, I thought it, I thought it ended, but it kept on going. Like I was literally, I was literally in the audience, just like all of you. I was experiencing it. And it was interesting because I was doing it, but experiencing and seeing my face and having the headphones on, it was like surround sounds like, and there was no lag. It was intense. All right. 8.5 from the Netherlands. Respect, respect. 10 from the West coast. Hell yeah. That was the one. If anyone can find that bird, I forget when that was. Didn't we talk about that doing like a compilation of all of them? That's a lot of work. All right. This is four year old trans. I don't know what this is going to. What's in the box? I'm like, oh, all right, here we go. Are you ready? Yeah. Perfect. On the 6th of March, we welcomed our beautiful twins into the world. A boy called Arlo and a girl called Emerald. The first one they said was, this is a girl. I can't even remember your face just like lighting up like, oh, this mm -hmm. is amazing. And then the next one is on, this is a boy. And it was like, jackpot. I don't know what you're talking about, okay. All right, I don't know what you're talking about, okay. So I've got two boys, I've got two boys. I'm just making fun of accents. I like the accent. Oh, God, don't, don't. Look like two boys or something. I don't know. Let's keep going. You know, one of each. This is the perfect combination here. Yeah, look at daddy flipping. So now they're four years old and they identify as two boys. The first time that I realized Stormy 
wanted to identify as male was about or me wanted to identify as male was about okay let's just play it about roughly two and a half but it's not really he said i want to be a boy he said i am a boy oh and that is the difference oh right. right so your two and a half year old said i am a boy so then you're gonna make your girl a boy so your two and a half or three year old said not i feel like a boy but I am a boy. Well, well, that just, that just sums it up. Your three-year-old. Excellent. Excellent. Remember, look, not a good reference anymore, but remember that famous show right back in the day, right? Kids say the damnedest thing, the darndest things. It was an old show and then Cosby did it, right? And you had like young kids, like three, four and five-year-olds going up on stage and just saying silly shit because kids don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They just want love and affection from their parents. Oh, yeah. I remember that show. <laughs> oh. Huh. How far we've strayed. Hmm. Baby stole me and I'm four years old. I feel like a boy and I want to be a boy. I'm oh, this is sick. This is fucking sad. Hold on a second. I got to play that again. This fucking kid can barely say words. I mean, he's learning from his parents, which can barely say words but my god jesus christ friends my name is stormy and i'm four years old i feel like a boy and i want to be a boy sometimes people call me cool do they how does that make you feel sad i can't remember the exact moment it switched over but there was that point where i thought you know what this isn't just this isn't just a phase this is not a little girl we're looking at here it's a little boy he stopped Yeah. Oh, 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 Jesus Christ. Fuck. Started being unhappy with being dressed as a girl, so we started being unhappy with wearing dresses. Hair clips were a big no-no. Mm. Didn't like hair clips, didn't like the pigtails. He was genuinely upset at being dressed as a girl. Before- Probably gay, right? Probably gay. Probably gonna be more of a masculine lesbian nothing wrong with that fine have at it um but you're still a girl you know there's still that there's still the chromosomes the fact that you have a vagina you're gonna have tits and stuff you know it's, there's that no one decides to have this conversation like well you are a girl doesn't mean you can't be with other girls doesn't mean you can't play with fucking trucks and stuff like <laughs> why can't you just why can't you play with the toys you want to play with Okay, some girls are into that shit. Some girls are into trucks. They're mechanic. Yeah, female mechanics. You have female like construction workers. Like you got women doing all sorts of things. Not as much as men in terms of the laborious jobs and the dangerous jobs. We know that factually. But likewise with men and women, there's not as many male nurses. Remember the what was it? Um, Meet the Parents. Remember it was like kind of like a joke. The fact that he was a nurse, a male nurse. Now today it's like well. Remember when Meet the Parents came out? It was still kind of like a little bit of a joke, like, oh, a male nurse, because it was always a female position, because women are more nurturing and bedside manner and stuff like that. Doesn't mean there can't be male nurses. It was just still kind of funny when that movie came out. It was still kind of in the culture. Okay, so it's more female. No one's complaining. All right, uh, this is fucking weird. I had children, and certainly before the last couple of years, this whole thing that I'm saying, I, I would have thought it was ridiculous. Honestly, I would. I would. You would have said that, but not anymore. This guy's had way too many soy burgers in his life. My God. Can you imagine the size of this guy's taint? It's got to be like micro taint. Taint length matters, fam. Eat a steak. I would have watched me and said, no, you, you, you're crazy. You're making it up. You're abusing a child. We constantly say, are you a boy today? Or do you feel like you, you might? Because I don't want him to feel like he's took himself down a route that he can't turn back on. Yeah. You don't want to set him down a route that he can't turn back on. You're raising your girl as a boy. You're, you're raising this woman looks like one of the heads from Easter Island for fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. 
Um, yeah, why don't you let the girl grow up, be a girl. She can like boy things. Like there is no boy thing. She could like trucks. She can like playing with her brother. It's still a girl. Okay. Stop lying to the child. Pretending she's a boy is fucking sick. That's not going to turn out well. It's not going to turn out well. I'm a boy. Well, you're a girl and you're a literal two and a half year old. So things that you say are not going to be taken as law. Okay. Okay. Uh, Just smile and wave, boys. Smile and uh, wave. I'm tapping out, fam. I don't know. Sand. Nope. Sand. Nope. Sand. Ah, All right, I'm out. I'm out. That's enough. That's enough. There's no more tomboys, right? You you can't be a tomboy. You have to be an actual boy. So cut your tick. T- cut your tits off. Stop fucking around. Cut your tits off, cut some skin off your leg, make yourself a fake fucking dick, and let's fucking go, America, baby. Come on, let's go. Take those puberty blockers. Take them like Flintstones vitamins. It's good for you. Eh, If you want to be a fucking boy, be a fucking boy. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, man. Um, Do you think this is actually... I love how we're bringing this up. I mean, considering it's June 1st because it's flag month, um, it's alphabet month. When do you think this is going to hit hard, right? Think about it. What year is that? 2030, 2040, like the suicide rate's going to be off the fucking charts. 10 years probably, right? Five to 10 years because a lot of these kids that are doing this are impressionable middle schoolers and and high schoolers. So what, like five to 10 years? It's already like, can you imagine can you imagine? It's going to be disgusting. How many of those situations are going to lead to like school shootings or just mass suicides or group suicides? Like, is that going to be a thing where like a bunch of failed trans, like neglected teens are just going to like do like group suicides or some shit? It's, it's so bad. It's so bad. Like the next five to five to 15 years are just going to be brutal. Cause you have, I don't know if it's going to take that long. I guess it depends. I hope it doesn't. I'm not saying this because I'm like, yeah, this is a win. Like no one's winning here. Everyone, right? Like no one's fucking winning here. The shock and the absolute it's mind numbing. It's mind numbing that parents are doing this, that people can actually feed into this delusion. How fucking sick is it? It's sick. It's sick. They don't get a whole month. Oh, no, I'm just fucking around. <laughs> Hold on now. Don't go saying they get a whole month. I'm not supporting any of that shit. Uh, no, I think the whole month now. I'm not a fan of, I'm not a fan of Black History Month. I'm not a fan of Rainbow Month. I'm not a fan of any of these months. Get a day. Have a holiday. I get it. No one needs a fucking month. That's a stupid shit. There's not enough months to go around. You want to have a day? There's a day. There's hot dog day. There's grandparents day. There's all these fucking days. All right, have your little event. Have a day, have a thing, have a parade. I don't care. I don't care. But the whole month thing, like who the fuck do you think you are? You get a month and you act like you're oppressed, right? You get a month, you act like you're oppressed when you have an entire month where everyone has to suck your dick or whatever the hell you got between your legs. Yeah, fuck all the way off. All right. Homie, don't play that shit. Nope, 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 nope. You do what you want, but... Stop pretending like uh, everyone has to get on their knees and, you know, pray to you just because it's fucking June. It's the summer, baby. It's fucking summer of swole. I'm, I'm here to make some sick fucking feelings. Yeah. 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 feelings, man. Ah, again, have your parade. Do something. Pick a day. What's it going to be? Pick a day. Pick a day. Pick a day. That's the problem. Yes, that's a great statement from Morgan Freeman. Sarah says, I'm not a, flan- I'm not a fan of uh, Black History Month. Either I agree with Morgan Freeman. Black history is American history. Like, it should all be American, right? So this whole bullshit that I can't believe they were feeding into, this whole Black National Anthem, with it, which is insane and actually insanely racist. Uh, like, who's selecting this fucking song or whatever the hell it is? I don't even know what the hell it is. No one knows the words. It's a non-issue. It's a non-starter. We have our anthem 
and everyone is equal under our flag. So we should all be grateful that we are living well under the same flag. Like we are all of the same. We're not all the same background. Like, like everyone's different, but we're all in the same country. We have to unify with something. And the uh, best way to create more unity is to divide people more. It's excellent. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate Come it. Come on, man. It's excellent. It's all part of the plan, right? Shitty food, um, mind-numbing entertainment, uh, the breaking apart and the the marginalized and the oppression movement, Marxism feeding into communism, the breaking apart of the family, um, abortion, people like really raging hard in order to be able to have like late term and these insane abortion laws um, that are pro-choice. I, I'm not anti, uh, I'm not like, you know, completely, I'm a little bit of the gray area, but I definitely lean more towards pro-life um, with like certain situations because, you know, it has to be, it has to be realistic. It can't be these like eight, nine months. That stuff's insane. But people that act like anyone wants to fuck them anyway, you have all these people that have no purpose in life that are just screaming and ranting at the sky. And it's like, you will never have to worry about, <laughs> you will never have to worry about an abortion. No one wants to fuck you. No one wants to bang any of these people at these protests, which is kind of funny. Usually the non-binary, the colored hair and all these different, you know, people crying out is really like, you know, someone like me, someone look at me, boys won't look at me. So I'm going to cut my tits off and be a man myself. It's like, that's not the answer. That's not the answer. So all these different, uh, I, I, I retweeted that. Um, I think from the, uh, I think it was from Joe Biden. He did this whole like LGBTQ AI plus fucking bullshit, right? Talk about why don't you work on the economy, open shit back up, stop shutting down gas pipelines and stop trying to virtue signal all this trash. So I quote tweeted it on Twitter and I put like, I feel oppressed. It's like, you're literally listing everyone, right? And I feel bad for gay people. I really do. I feel, I feel bad for gay people and for lesbians because they have to be grouped in with all these insane people. It's brutal. Like who can you imagine like finally getting actual, you know, legal rights and stuff, being a gay man or a gay woman, like after all this time, then all of a sudden being lumped in with people that are like, I'm a pony. It's like, yeah, Jesus Christ. Things got out of hand real fast. But I think these, uh, these whole months, it absolutely does divide people. And then I got to sit here. I got to sit here and get eye fucked with these stupid fucking emails from Amazon telling me, they always tell me like, Hey, want to try some more black books? No, I don't. I don't want a black book. I don't want a gay book. I don't want a pride book. I want a good book. Like, I know you want to watch like Netflix. Do you want to watch these black movies? I don't. I don't. How about I don't? How about I want to watch a good movie? And if it has a black actor, that's great too. Okay. How about good movies? Make me some good movies. All right. Make some good movies. It's always in your face. It's always in your face. And uh, if you don't like it, you're a bad person, you're racist, you're a phobe or whatever like that. I used to answer those emails. Like Amazon would send me an email. I said, fuck off. Do not send me any of this gutter trash again. And then it comes back like domain, not responding. You know, you can't reply to these emails, but I used to be like, no, I'll just respond. No. Hey, try out these. No, <laughs> but they always came back to me. The emails never went through. Yeah. Yep. 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 Good movies. Good movies. Don't shove that stuff down my throat. Okay, let's give away today's wall card. But my thyroid. Oh, man. But my thyroid. Oh, that's, a, that, that's it right there. That's exactly right. And Vo, give me respect I didn't earn. Goddamn right. Give me the respect I didn't earn. A thousand percent. I agree. Swole fam, you are swole pilled. You get it. You understand. Yeah, the gas prices are insane. All right, but my thyroid, hashtag, I would have given away this swole card. I would give this swole card away. I would have given it to everyone, but my thyroid. It was but, but, but my thyroid. I can't give it to everyone because of my thyroid. All right, let's give this one away. Here we go. Who's got a thyroid problem? Who needs an excuse for the thyroid? Oh, the thyroid. Who's got a thyroid problem? Oh, it is Mark Marias. Congratulations. It's his thyroid. I'm sorry to hear that. All right. I guess congratulations. Oh, my God. Congratulations, Mark. You know what? Your sister would 
get a lot healthier. Her sister would stop eating Taco Bell leftover for lunch, blah, vomit, but it's her thyroid. Ah, oh, it's her thyroid. What the hell kind of country is this where I can only hate a man if he's white? All right. Congratulations. It is Swole Month. I know. It's Swole Month for sure. Uh, send us an email to support at swolenormous.com. Swole card 2217 in the subject, your mailing address. In the body of the email, congratulations. And uh, sorry to hear about your thyroid, Mark. We're sorry to hear about your thyroid. No medication except my fucking antidepressants. Mine is thinking. Finkel is Einhorn! You can be fat and be healthy. I'm sorry, Lizzo, healthier than I will ever be. Make sure you share the podcast, everyone. It helps a lot. Sharing the podcast, sharing the live stream helps tremendously. It's the best way to ensure the Daily Swole's survival for slinging knowledge talk every fucking day. Thanks for being here. Check out SwoleNormousX.com to join the fam today. we got new releases dropping all fucking week. We'll take some soundboard requests in the comments. Drop it in the comments down below. I'm totally comfortable in my body. I just don't want to be in pain. That's you, Matt Damon. My name's Forrest. Forrest Gump. U.S. and A. Greatest country in the world. Piano cop coming right up, baby. We got to fuck your own face. We got one. First. Take a big step back and literally fuck your own face! Loud noises! Oh, let's fucking go! I got excited. That was nice. Cut it off a little bit short, too. Oh, I got some diversity for you. Well, I, I could be wrong. But I believe uh, diversity is an old, old wooden ship that was used during the Civil War era. Fucking nailed it. Let's fucking go. So no more shenanigans, no more tomfoolery, uh, no more ballyhoo. He's from San Diego. Australian judge. A solid eight, mate. Solid eight. Oh, I got some emotional damage. This piano cops here. Some emotional damage. <laughs> emotional damage. Boys have a penis. Girls have a vagina. And by the way, you know, I sit on the stand. And it get hot. I got a lot of. I got hairy legs that turn that 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 that, that, that turn uh, uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down, so it was straight. And then watch the hair come come back up again. Cross. Fucking nailed it. Let's go, Beaches. <laughs> that was a great man cast. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Um, make sure you subscribe and share the stream, swolenormousx.com, to join the fam today and get access to all those amazing releases. We have an overtime segment coming up on Friday after the mainstream, so don't miss out on that. And let me tell you, Beaches, that I am so stoked for some of the new content that we're dropping. A lot of you are, you are going to be so fucking excited. Your nips say goodbye. Joe just got his fucking nips back. Maybe tomorrow, the next day just resurrected those nips and uh, they're gonna be blown off again. So sorry, Joe in advance. I know, I know, I know. Great show. Thank you for being here. We'll see you tomorrow for uh 2218. Peace. McGee's deuce McGoose. Your boy, Papa Swolio. Oh, 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 oh. Crazy flow, need a straight jacket. Cash flow, I'm a bank addict. Six subs, had the bass smacking. Eight away, had the place clapping. Three girls is enough for me, so I pull out like the stock crashing, like an IPO trying to purchase me. This a private sector, so you can't have it. Faking all that boom babbing. Who you think you is, boy? 90s want they sound back, so I give rap all these fake rappers as I take matters in my own hands. I don't need rapping, I don't need Zams. I don't need help, I'm a grown man. Now they can't left and they so mad, it's like. Yeah, I found that young king with my crown at ten racks in the fanny pack, couple hundred in the Louis bag. That's a bag that you made. 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 What kind of game is you playing? What kind of game is you playing? We go hard in the paint. We go hard in the paint. What the fuck is you saying? What the fuck is you saying? I go with the pay. I only go with the pay. What kind of game is you playing? What kind of game is you playing? Hey, yeah, go hard in the paint. My shit is relevant. Our topic.
my melanin is yeah. popping. I'm taking skeletons on closets and making new deposits. I'm yeah. in my element.